Welcome to part two of our learning how to TIG weld aluminum series. In this video, we're going to talk about starting the arc, establishing the weld puddle, and managing your current control. Make sure you check out some of our videos on best practices for prepping the material before welding. And remember, read and follow all labels and your owner's manual. First, we're going to practice starting the arc and establishing that weld puddle. I like to start my beginners out using eighth inch thick aluminum. It's not going to be as finicky as thinner aluminum will be. It'll allow you to get the chance to work on your starts and your puddle control. Okay, get yourself into position, just like we talked about in part one. You're going to ease into your foot control. You don't have to jump into it. You might overpower the, the base metal. I'm going to add more and more power, more power, more power, more power, and there's that puddle starting right there. And that's where I'm going to hold the foot control. Once that puddle starts, that's the, that's your indication when you can start adding filler metal. More power, more power, there's that shiny spot. Okay. One more time. Easing into the foot control, more power, more power, and there's that puddle right there. I'm using 6061 and 4943 filler metal. The 4043 and the 4943 are compatible with a lot of different aluminum alloys, so if you're going to be out looking in your recycle yard for some scrap aluminum, the 4043 and 4943 is going to be the filler metal of choice. Now we're going to work on puddle control. The object of this exercise is to start the arc and walk it down the piece, making sure you're keeping a consistent arc width and just moving that puddle down. We're not even adding filler metal yet. Use that same eighth inch aluminum, start the arc. Get the puddle started and widen it out to the proper width and then just move it down the piece. Okay. If I get too hot or, my, or I don't move fast enough, the puddle gets real wide and it washes out. Or if I move too fast or if I don't have enough current control, then I lose the puddle. What I'm looking for is that nice, consistent weld puddle. One more thing I want to mention about this exercise is the more you weld on that piece, the hotter it gets. The hotter it gets, the easier it melts. Therefore, the weld puddle is going to be doing something different every time you go to strike an arc. My recommendation is to put a pass down on your piece, set it aside, let it cool, take another piece, make a pass. That way, the material is always being consistent. Part three, we're going to talk about adding the filler metal.